Welcome to a complete video tutorial series on how to use Linux Mint, a free and open source operating system. Part 1 of this series will look at the Linux Mint desktop. So let's dive in. Free your mind. The default desktop for Linux Mint is called Cinnamon. Those of us who remember how desktops looked back in 2001 will notice that the layout of Cinnamon most resembles that of Windows XP. Luckily, you don't need to have experience with Windows XP to learn how to use the Cinnamon desktop. Mint makes this software easy to use. While Cinnamon may have a more traditional desktop layout, it is backed behind modern technology and is both practical and beneficial to users today. Having that in mind, let's take a closer look at the various components on the Mint desktop, focusing first on the panel at the bottom. The first component we'll look at is the Mint menu. By default, this is located to the bottom left of the screen and behaves much like the Windows Start button. A single left click with the mouse or pressing the Windows key on the keyboard, also known as the Super key, will open up the Mint menu. To the left is your Favorites column, which will show favorited applications and programs for quick and easy access. This column is customizable, and you can add programs to your favorites in two ways. One, you can right-click on the program icon to the right, and then select Add to Favorites in the drop-down menu. Or two, click and hold on the mouse left-click button and drag the icon over to the Favorites bar then release the mouse click to drop it into place. To remove an application icon from the favorites, click and hold down the left click mouse button, then drag the icon outside of the favorites, then release the mouse click. To move an application icon to a different place in the favorites, you can simply click and hold down the left click mouse button, then drag the icon up or down then release the mouse click to drop it into place. To the right of that is the Application Categories column. Hovering your mouse over any category in this list will immediately show any installed applications pertaining to that category in the column to the right. For example, if you scroll over the Office category, then you will see all of the Office programs installed on your computer to the column on the right. The Mint menu is designed this way so that you can quickly filter through your large list of installed programs to get to the desired program you want to run quicker. Another great feature about the Mint menu is that the program listings are searchable. You can use the search bar to type in the name of the program you're trying to open. To use the search, you can begin typing your search from your keyboard immediately after opening the Mint menu or you can use your mouse and left-click the search bar at the top and then begin typing with your keyboard. As you're typing, the Mint menu will instantly begin filtering your search results in the column on the right. Once you've typed your search, you can use your up and down arrow keys and the Enter key on your keyboard to move up and down and select the program you want to open. Or, if you prefer, you can use your mouse and simply left-click the desired program. To the right of the Mint menu, you will see the Quick Launch applet. These are buttons to quickly run your commonly used applications without needing to access a menu, since the icons are right there on the panel. The button on the far left is the Show Desktop button. Left-clicking this will minimize all open windows allowing you to easily access the program icons or documents that are on your desktop. Left-clicking an icon in the Quick Launch applet will run the program. Right-clicking the icon will pop open a context menu. The top section of the context menu has running options unique to each program. Below those are options to launch the program, as well as add a new program to the Quick Launch, edit the selected program launch settings, remove the icon from the quick launch, and preferences for the launcher applet. 
To the right of the Quick Launch applet is the window list. This shows all of the open programs currently running. Switching between windows using the window list should feel quite familiar. Simply left-click the window you want to highlight or bring into focus, and it will appear at the forefront of the desktop, above all the other windows. If the window being clicked is already the active window at the forefront of your desktop, it will be minimized to the window list. Hovering your mouse over the windows in the window list will show a preview thumbnail of that window, so you can get a glimpse of it before choosing to maximize or highlight it. Right-clicking a window in the window list will bring up a context menu. You will see familiar functions like maximize, minimize, and close the window. The preferences option will allow you to customize different options for the window list, but we will address that in the video dedicated to customizing the Cinnamon desktop. The menu options at the top are to move the window to a different workspace. This brings up the perfect opportunity to mention one very neat feature about Linux desktops. Workspaces. Most desktops for Linux allow you to organize your open windows onto different workspaces. This is a great way to compartmentalize your activities and keep the desktops clean and organized. Imagine if you had a room that had four desks in it. And you could use those desks however you wanted. You could start a work project on one and then leave it there and start something else on another desk, without having to worry about cluttering up your desk space too much. This is a metaphor for how workspaces behave in Linux. To access your different workspaces, you'll use your keyboard and press and hold the following keys. Control, Alt, and then the up arrow key. By default, Cinnamon has four workspaces for you to use if you would like. When you hover your mouse over one of the workspaces, all of the windows in that workspace will spread out so you can see all of the active programs in that workspace. Moving programs from one workspace to another is easy. Simply left-click and drag the desired window into one of your other workspaces, then release the mouse button. To go into one of the workspaces, simply left-click anywhere in the workspace window. Or, left-click one of the windows that are inside of that particular workspace. A shortcut for switching between workspaces without entering into the workspace view mode is to use the keyboard by pressing and holding the following keys. Control, Alt, and then the left and right arrow keys to switch workspaces and get to your desired workspace. The use of workspaces isn't mandatory, but it is a very nice feature for people who might have a lot of windows open at once and would like to better organize their desktop and improve workflow. The last item on the panel, to the right of the window list, is the system tray. This area shows icons for programs running in the background as well as other system notifications and features. Some of these components on the system tray are the Software Updates Manager, the Notifications, the User Controls, the Network Manager, the Clock, and the Sound Controls. Each of these functions are individual applets, or small applications running from within the Cinnamon desktop itself with their own individual functions and behaviors. Left-clicking on the Software Update icon will open the Update Manager and allow you to view updates to Linux Mint and programs that are installed on your PC. Right-clicking the Update icon will open a menu with some basic options and functions. The notifications are where Linux Mint will notify you if you've received new emails, low battery, a new USB device has been plugged in, a document is printed, and others. Left-clicking on the notifications icon will open the log of previous notifications, so you can see a history of what Linux Mint has notified you of. Left-clicking the user controls will open a menu with a basic set of commands, as well as let you see the username and profile picture of the user, 
so you can know which user is logged into the computer at the time. You can access the system settings, as well as log off the user account, or shut down the PC. Left-clicking the Network Manager will open a list of available networks your PC detects so you can connect and access the Internet. Each individual wireless network will have its own listing, with the network name, as well as the signal strength, telling you how good of a connection you have to that network. Left-clicking one of these wireless network entries will tell Linux Mint to connect to that network. If the network is secured, and they usually are, Linux Mint will open a password window where you can input the wireless password to gain access to that network. The clock will display the time in the local time zone that you would have set when you installed Linux Mint on your PC. Left-clicking the clock will open the Calendar applet and let you view a simple calendar of the month, as well as menu options to adjust the date and time settings. The last item in the system tray is the sound controls. This will let you control the volume of your speakers, open music programs, and other media players, as well as provide media controls for when you are playing music. It will also let you choose the sound output device so you can manually tell Linux Mint to output the sound to your speakers, Bluetooth wireless speakers, USB headset, and more. You can easily adjust the sound volume by left-clicking and adjusting the slider in the menu, or simply by hovering over the sound icon and scrolling up and down with the mouse scroll wheel. You can adjust the volume by scrolling with the mouse scroll wheel whether the sound controls menu is open or not. The last section for the Cinnamon desktop in Linux Mint is the desktop itself. This behaves very similar to Windows, where right-clicking the wallpaper will bring up a desktop menu with an array of desktop-oriented tasks, like changing the background, creating new folders on the desktop, or accessing desktop settings. The icons, or launchers, on the desktop also behave in a familiar way. Double-clicking a launcher with the left click on your mouse will run the program. If you're double-clicking on a document, it will be opened automatically with the appropriate program associated with it. Working with Linux Mint and the Cinnamon desktop is very user-friendly and easy to get used to. And best of all, it's free and open-source software. This concludes part one of the How to Use Linux Mint video series. In the next videos, we'll cover how to use the file manager, Nemo, the system settings, or control manager, the software manager, the update manager, desktop customization, and a basic rundown of the terminal and useful terminal commands. There's plenty more in store, so stay tuned. And don't forget to subscribe to free your mind. Thanks for watching. Take care and stay free.